so I don't have too much room to complain. However, that's never stopped me before. I don't know how I always reach a point of running like a little bit late. I'm not like late, but I need to be rushing right now in order to leave on time. Hello, I'm Anna. Welcome to a work week in my life. I am 23, working a big girl job at a children's hospital. I'm a medical social worker. Today is November 27th, so we're coming off of the holiday weekend, which I feel like is important because the holiday week just all felt fake. I only worked three days because I had Thanksgiving itself off and then I called out sick on Monday, as you would have seen in the last vlog. And then like elective surgeries weren't happening so it was just slower overall so I kind of feel like this week might be a little bit of a shock just in that it'll be more like regular and maybe more fast-paced we'll see now that I say that who knows quick little outfit of the day for the hospital I'm wearing my purple figs <laughs> it's like a hair on my tongue <laughs> My green little Lululemon Swiftly Tech shirt. This is a free sweatshirt that I got from a foundation a couple weeks ago. It is so freaking cold outside. It is like 32 degrees. I feel like once I moved to the south, I've gotten so used to people being like, oh, winters must be nice there. Like, doesn't even get cold. 32 is cold. I understand that there are colder temperatures than that, but I kind of feel like once you hit 32, like, that is cold. <laughs> it doesn't really matter too much. Like, it does. But, like, once you get colder than that, you are still just cool. So I think I'm gonna grab maybe like another jacket to layer on top or something in order to for my walking portion of the day. I have new pants that should be arriving this week which I'm very excited for because I have three pairs of pants bright purple bright pink and gray. So I got a couple more neutral colors <laughs> that I can round things out with. I feel like I don't feel stressed. There's like one task on my to-do list that I feel like has been on my to-do list for too long that I've just been so ready for it to be just like good to go set ready to the point where it's even been in my dreams for like two nights this weekend, even though it's like not that big of a deal. But I'm scheduling a meeting that families can have between like the parents and the doctors to like sit down and talk about like progress and plan of care and like the trajectory of care and all of that, which can be so good for families. But I have been like following up, following up, trying to figure out which doctor to schedule it with because there's like a little bit of a process to figure out who out of all of the doctors to schedule it with. And I haven't gotten an answer yet of which doctor to schedule it with. And so like theoretically it's happening this Friday and this is like one of the first ones that I have scheduled. Theoretically it's happening this Friday, but I don't know which doctor it is yet, so I haven't invited the doctor, so I don't know if it's actually happening this Friday. And it's a small thing, because like either it'll happen this Friday, or it won't, and either way I'll schedule it. <laughs> I just wish it was like already set up. That's my one stressy task of the day. I am gonna get myself ready to go. I finished reading Fourth Wing last night. Maybe we'll discuss my thoughts later, but in short, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. It wasn't, like, it wasn't objectively bad or anything at all. I just did not feel, when I was reading it, for the most part, I was fine, but anytime I set it down, I did not feel any desire to pick it back up, and it took me almost two weeks to finish the book, which is the longest that it's taken me to finish a book in a long time, but I have a little podcast episode queued up of, like, a book podcast that I follow from when they read Fourth Wing, so I've been looking forward to being able to listen to that podcast, and now that I finished the book, that's gonna be my commute entertainment today. I ended up giving it 2.5 stars, which to me means like average, middle of the line. Like I said, it wasn't like it was objectively bad. I just, just read a lot of better books.
Work today was busy. I had several different tasks kind of going on at once. I've gotten several consult orders whenever like the medical team consults social work, like asks for social work to come. A couple like contacts with child protection services that I did today, a couple just like answering questions of parents that they had. A few of the children that I've had more long-term and families that I know a little bit better had like surgeries going on today. So several just like sitting and being with parents. We had our perinatal social work support group, which was good. It's just nice to talk to other social workers who go through similar things. So like with the perinatal social work support group, it's my team and the NICU social workers and the fetal social worker are all invited. So anyone that's like pre or post birth right in that section is perinatal. I did get scheduled the conference that I was talking about. That must have been this morning. It feels like ages ago. I did get that scheduled. So I still feel kind of anxious because like I said, it's one of my like first times doing that. And so I just... I feel kind of nervous, but it'll be Friday that that happens. So it'll be in this video that that happens. I can't even lie, my night got absolutely sucked away from me because I have been spending hours like deep diving into <laughs> checking up on people that like I went to high school or like middle school with. Like looking on Facebook, Instagram, being like, oh my gosh, like what's up with them? Like they're married, like a child. <laughs> like once I started looking at one, I was just so intrigued. And then I was texting one of my friends too, who went to middle school and high school with me and we're talking about like locker partners in seventh grade which i cannot remember who my locker partner was in seventh grade which i feel like like that is such a cliche like coming of age as a preteen girl like oh my gosh your locker partner i can't remember who i had i remember my sixth grade who i had and i feel like it's going to bug me for forever until i remember i like really want to have my like middle school yearbook so i can just like flip through <laughs> and figure out who my locker partner was and then i was also thinking i was like oh my gosh i haven't like updated facebook in forever Forever. My Facebook is like super locked down to be honest because whenever I worked in jail I just I didn't want it has my first and last name and I didn't want like I don't know the kids would find you the kids would find you the kids never found me But I also like really locked down my Facebook But the people that I am friends with are people that I became friends with in like 2014 when I got a Facebook and so I was like do a little picture update. I feel like if I'm expecting this from other people, I need to do it myself too. That's the happenings today though. I don't expect too much more to happen before I go to bed, other than me making my little like Facebook update post. <laughs> so hard to get out of bed this morning. Let me make myself not be so backlit. <laughs> so hard to get out of bed this morning. I don't really know for why, because like I did go to bed late, but like 10. 10.05, so waking up at 6 a.m. should not be, like that's eight hours. Anyways, out for the day, my bright pink figs that we are so familiar with, the light green t-shirt that I got from orientation whenever I first started, and then my free sweatshirt again. I'm trying to decide if I need this jacket or not because yesterday I was like, oh, it's so super cold, I need this jacket, had it on, and then was like sweating, dying, had to take the jacket off after the first five minutes, but it feels so cold right now that it like pains me to not bring an extra jacket with me. I think I'll just, you know, I'll start jogging or something if I get cold. <laughs> it's 32 degrees, or I think it's 33 today. Let me not exaggerate. 33 today. I have my smoothie sitting behind you since I woke up late and so I didn't get a chance to drink it. I'll just drink it on the way there. Today at work, I'm trying to think. We've been getting so many notices because Rosalind Carter's memorial is today. And so there's lots of different road closures happening around Atlanta. I forget where she is now. She arrived yesterday in the motorcade. <laughs> I think she's at the Carter Center and then I think she's going from the Carter Center to a church for the memorial. And then it's gonna do like another little drive around after the memorial. But because the memorial's here, there's so many, they keep calling them dignitaries, which I just think is so funny. Cause I know it's a word, but like, can you imagine like, oh, the dignitaries are coming. So many dignitaries are coming. Like both Bidens are coming, Michelle Obama's coming, Melania Trump is coming. What other presidents are still? The Bushes, they're probably coming. <laughs> so many people are coming that require lots of like secret service and road closures and fancy cars and there have been like helicopters flying around so big day in Atlanta today but that shouldn't honestly it shouldn't affect me <laughs> really at all I'm very excited because today I should be getting new shoes that are coming in the mail and I also should be getting a Christmas present that I ordered for both my sisters which is kind of a splurge but I'm excited for it especially because all like previous Christmases I've been like a college student or in grad school or like just came out of grad school like I just have not had money 
to be able to like get things that I know other people will like for Christmas gifts. And so I'm excited for those to get there today. I'm not gonna show the gift. I'll show my new shoes though, because my current ones, these ones were my running shoes that I wore for so long whenever I was training for the last half marathon. This is something, can you see inside my shoe? Yeah, you can. This is something my other Hoka's did too, where the fabric at the back started going downhill. And it's gotten to the point where it feels like very annoying back there when I'm walking because it's like all of the fabric is gone and I'm just like the cardboard or the plastic, whatever is back there is what I'm walking on. So I've been wanting to get new shoes for work anyways, just because these are also like dirty <laughs> and don't look great, but they should be coming today. So <laughs> that's what the exciting part is. At work today, I don't think I have anything too big. I do know I've now been at my job for six months. And so my like six month review was done, which is crazy because I feel like I just did my 90 day review, like just recently, <laughs> except it was actually 90 days ago. Oh, that's wild to think. May to August is the same amount of time as August to now. That's crazy. But I'm going over it with my well supervisor on Thursday and she asked me yesterday, she's like, is it okay with you if I send you your six month review before we meet so you can like look it over or do you just wanna wait until we meet? And I was like, yeah, that's okay. Like I like that she's checked that because that could be anxiety inducing. Um, but I was like, yeah, that's fine to send it. And so she sent it to me via email yesterday afternoon, but then I just like got so busy doing different things. I didn't get the chance to actually go through it. So I'm kind of looking forward to like getting in today, getting to go through my email, see what my six month review looks like, see if they'll keep me around, you know? I think technically I've been not like on official probation, but the first six months is the period of time that you just have like lots and lots of extra grace. Not that like anything really is gonna change now, you know, but like if there was something I was doing that was like, oh, so wrong, oh, so bad. The first six months is when I'm like learning and then the six month review would say it, you know? <laughs> but they've always been big on and I feel like this is so healthy with like supervisory relationships for workers. She's always said like whatever shows up on your reviews like this shouldn't be a surprise to you because like she's like, it would be a failure on my part if there's like something that shows up in your review that we haven't like discussed before. So I don't think there'll be any surprises there, but I am kind of interested. I'm gonna get on walking though. Yesterday, I wasn't late. Like I really have until 8.15 to arrive. I always try to arrive by eight because that's my time, but like I have 15 minutes on either side and our clock round. Have you guys ever had a job that that happens? Because my desk job at Alabama was the first one that that happened to me for, but we only get hours in 0.25. So that means like if I clock in at 7.53, it rounds to 8 a.m. But if I clock in at 7.52, it rounds to 7.45 a.m. That being said, whenever I arrive at 8.03, really it's me arriving at eight. But yesterday <laughs> I was pushing it kind of close. I think I did arrive at like 8.03. So today I'm trying for that not to be the case. On my docket to listen today, I am listening to, oh, it's gonna be funny if I can't think of it. The third act guitar book, the pink one, the big one, A Court of Wings and Ruin, that's what it is. I'm listening to that on audiobook. I own all of the guitar books, but I just started listening on audiobook and I'm kind of enjoying just like listening to them instead of digging into the 700 page books. And so I think that's my plan for walking today is to listen to those. And I'll see you later. <laughs> I got home from work and Zach made this amazing dinner from tonight. It was creamy chicken enchiladas and it's from the same app that we've used for, well that I've used for years, the Meal Lime app, if you remember me talking about it before. But I've always had dairy filtered out so it wouldn't show me like any recipe that had dairy in it or that like had gluten in it because I had gluten filtered out too. And it never occurred to me that like it's okay if a recipe has dairy or gluten because I can just like use a substitute. So he's been finding recipes on that app that are like so wonderful and delicious that I I've been using it for two years and like thought that I'd seen everything by now. So it was a wonderful surprise of creamy chicken enchiladas tonight. And then I headed to the gym. I did just like some arms and did just a little bit on the treadmill. I do feel like my tiredness has just been like a lingering little devil in the back of my head tonight or today, the whole day. And so that's why I didn't like push it all too hard at the gym. Like I could have, I just didn't. And then I just got back and did the dishes because now I can like shower, wash my hair and just be like totally relax. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. It's like 7 30 right now. I feel like I'm gonna read. I feel like I'm gonna curl up and read. I think those are the vibes. Make some hot chocolate. That's not a surprise to anyone in this room. Make some hot chocolate. I've been loving it lately. Curl up and read after I wash my hair, which I don't know what I did different last time I washed my hair. This is like natural. Like I didn't straighten it. I didn't blow dry it anything. And this is not always how my hair looks. I don't know how. I don't know what went different, but I've been loving it. I've been having great hair days for the past week. So part of me worries that by washing washing it, I'm like gonna be messing something up, but we'll just have like our fingers crossed that that's not the case. Also, I did get some packages delivered today, and so I'm very excited to show you what's in those. I 
I've got my hot chocolate and I've got several packages that, like I said, was so excited to show you. A few of them are gifts, a few of them I'll show, and a few of them will be kind of kept secret until Christmas. And then also I got my new gift for myself that I'll show you in a little bit too. But the first one I'm so thrilled to introduce you to because you already know them and that is the sponsor of today's video, which is Anna Luisa. I worked with them so many times on this channel now. So <laughs> anytime that you've seen jewelry that I'm wearing and you're like, hmm, I wonder where Anna got that from. Oh, I bet it's Anna Luisa. A reason that I love working with Anna Luisa specifically in December is that I know that for myself and for you guys probably too, you always want to get the people you love really high quality, great things that they will love. And sometimes you don't always have the thousand bajillion dollars that you would love to spend on somebody. And so that is why it's awesome that Anna Luisa offers options starting at $39. And they have a two year warranty for the quality of their piece. I got my first pieces of Anna Luisa jewelry back in March, 2022. So about a year and a half ago. And out of all of the pieces that I have, none of them have tarnished, none of them have discolored, and none of them have aged in the way that whenever you buy cheap jewelry, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So I love getting to share Anna Luisa for the fact that they're long wearing, that they're tarnish resistant. Not only that, they have free and fast shipping and their selection is so vast that there are pieces that are perfect, honestly, for everyone's personality. So the items that I got this time that I want to show you. This necklace, I just think is so beautiful and honestly like a little sentimental value. My sisters don't know about this. <laughs> but the reason that I picked this necklace is because both of my sisters were born in May and that like birthstone is an emerald. So both of them have lots of like emerald jewelry, whereas I always got garnets because I'm in January. But I thought that this was such like a sweet little way that in my head, this is my sister necklace. And I just love how simple and dainty it is while also being very beautiful and gonna become very special to me too. The other item that I got for myself, I'm so excited and it is also selling out fast. It is this snake ring. I definitely got clowned by Taylor Swift. That Reputation Taylor's version was going to be announced either November 10th or then I was so convinced that it was gonna be November 26th and I'm still sitting here and it has yet to be announced. <laughs> but I feel like the next best thing for myself was this snake ring. It even has little eyes on it. I love this. And the next two pieces that I picked this time are gifts. I asked my sisters to let me know a few things that they thought were beautiful on Anna Luisa website and both of them sent a lot, a lot of links because it is hard to look on the website and not fall in love with everything. But I got my older sister this green bracelet. I don't know if she picked the green for the same reason I was telling you with like the May birthstone or if she did something different, but I'm so excited to give this to her. I'm saving it for Christmas. She already knows it's coming though, so I'm not spoiling it, don't worry, because I know that it'll become um, part of her daily wear too. And then for my little sister, I got her these Huggies, which Anna Luisa Huggies have such a special place in my heart. I am always wearing them. I had a different pair that I wore for over a year and then they're still fine. They're still sitting in my little jewelry, sitting in my bathroom. And I was like, Anna, it's time to switch it up just a little bit. And so I got different Anna Luisa Huggies <laughs> that are now in my ear. But it has been over a year and a half since any earring not Anna Luisa has been in my ear. <laughs> so I'm excited to pass on the gift. You do not want to forget about Anna Luisa during holiday season. They run wonderful sales through November and December. You definitely want to keep an eye out for. Of course, I have the link down in my description so that you can go to the website and browse what might be great options for a gift for yourself or for others this holiday season. And thank you, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. my other participation in capitalism that arrived today. I feel like I've been going through so many shoe brands lately, but I've honestly been really loving it and getting to like compare and contrast. And I know I mentioned this morning, <laughs> this section is no longer sponsored. I know I mentioned this morning about how the Hoka's that I've had have been like wearing out in the heels and how the last pair of Hoka's I had did that too. And it's becoming more and more important to me to like have shoes that like last and feel good while they do, which like to be fair, I put those Hoka's through so much. Like they have ran so many miles, walked so many miles, stepped so many steps. I just hate that like they're dying. Except that it makes me get to try a new brand of shoes on clouds. Well, on shoes, but the cloud line. I think it's like on running is the brand. I don't know, on clouds. These ones, I know some people run in these. However, my purpose for getting them is like walking and work. I'm still gonna keep my hokas around for like working out at the gym or if I'm walking on a rainy day or something. But these, I 
I got the cloud monsters. So theoretically, they are just like very cush, very comfy. I feel like the two brands of shoes you see like at hospitals from like nurses and people who are on their feet all day. I'm on my feet a lot. I'm not on my feet as much as nurses and doctors, but you'll see hokas and you'll see on clouds. So I'm very excited to try these out. Like I said, these are the Cloud Monsters. I forget what the color is called. It's obviously not an all white shoe, but I'm kind of okay with that. I think I would have liked it if they had an all white option, but these ones seem okay to me. And without having yet put them on my foot, this feels so sturdy in like a very nice way. That's it for the consumerism <laughs> for right now. Now for me, it is my aforementioned hot chocolate time and reading my book time. I am reading The Seven Year Slip, which I don't have physically to show you right now. I'll put the cover on the screen. If you consume any kind of like book content, you've probably heard or seen this book before. People say really great things about it. People absolutely rave about it. I'm getting into it. I'm like seeing where it can be cute, but it's magical realism. So it takes place like in a real world, but there's a little sprinkle of magic and it's a romance between a girl who lives in New York City and she like moves into her aunt's apartment and her aunt has always said that like her apartment's magic and she's like oh like whimsical aunt you know doesn't quite believe it but there ends up being this like seven year time difference where she like meet this man from seven years ago who like pops up in the apartment sometimes because like the apartment kind of like time works sometimes the seven year slip and so they like get to meet each other and get to know each other I'm assuming I haven't gotten to that part yet they've only met once but like only in those moments you know because they actually those versions of themselves are seven years apart from each other people say great things I haven't gotten too far into it I'm about 50 pages into it and it's been light I've been reading through it fast so I don't have anything bad to say about it yet but I'm like curious I'm curious how it'll go it is interesting to read a romance that is different like a magical realism romance is interesting so far I have a lot of book left to go so things could change <laughs> I swear I did the same thing, the exact same thing that I did last time I washed my hair. And this is not the same straightness that it was doing before. <laughs> I'm telling you that was so weird but I really loved it like it looked great and obviously I could have like blown dry my hair or something like that and like achieved what I was hoping to achieve however I was hoping to do it with literally zero effort good morning Wednesday Wednesday morning I woke up at 5 30 and didn't get out of bed until like 6 now it's 6 15 this is why I have to wake up early in the mornings it's because I'm so slow <laughs> at getting going I'm excited this creamer that I just put in it's my first time using the vanilla one but it is the kind that they carry at Aldi is it's Barissimo, Barissimo coffee brand. I got their peppermint mocha one from Aldi a couple weeks ago and it was really great. But I feel like peppermint mocha is such a specialized flavor that I was like, I need to do, I need to switch it up a little bit and then I'll come back to peppermint mocha. So I got vanilla this time and I mean, I'm hoping for great things. It's not dairy, it's almond. It's from Aldi. I don't remember how much it is, but it's like $3 maybe. Um, I know I keep talking about how cold it is in the mornings. This morning, so far as a record for the week, it's 28 degrees. I like don't have gloves or anything. I feel like I've never felt like I needed them since I've lived in Georgia. And today, I feel like that could make my life better. However, don't have them. We'll just freeze. Today at work, we have a staff meeting in the afternoon. I honestly kind of look forward to staff meetings and I realize that, that is such an unpopular opinion, but like, I don't know, I think it's fun to have just like all the social workers in one room. Like, oh, are there fun announcements? announcements to talk about you know like what what are we chatting about sometimes it's interesting so I kind of like staff meetings but that's today it's from 3 to 4 30 and then I do plan as of right now I'm planning to go to run club tonight it always is hard because it's cold and dark <laughs> and it used to be warm and light whenever I went to run club and the run club used to be an hour later and it was warm and light but unfortunately as we all know days change lengths <laughs> and we're in those shorter lengths now I don't even think I have room to complain because honestly so Atlanta is at like the west side of eastern time zone and so like I watch Charlotte Pratt and she's mentioned recently like she lives in Maine and they will have a sunset at like 4 p.m. Like it will be dark by 4 p.m. They're on like more the east side so like being on the west side of the time zone my sunset 
my sunset is later than most everybody else's. It's like 5.30 right now. So it'll creep up a little bit, but I don't think it even gets like before five in Atlanta. I don't think. So I don't have too much room to complain. However, that's never stopped me before. Other than that, don't know what work will hold. We'll kind of just be seeing whenever I get there. I think I've gotten used to the like workflow of that now. I think in the beginning, and I would talk about it too, like it was just so weird to me figuring out the workflow of this current job because part of me really likes having like a set to do list, set tasks that I can know I'm gonna accomplish. I can do them. I can like zone out while I do them and like get them done. Like part of me finds such joy in that. And it is weird having like 25 different small tasks that are all ongoing at once that like each day I have to prioritize the urgency of and also like work out with like who is at the hospital, like which parents are present at the time that I'm trying to do something or also like getting into the day, you know, opening my email, opening epic and being like oh like this thing's gonna take up my entire day but sometimes it's like a previously healthy child who all of a sudden was like air flighted to the ICU that's a big deal and those parents definitely you know like that becomes top priority of like trying to help those parents like get settled get acclimated no parent ever wants to be in that position so like those types of things take priority or sometimes it'll be like kids coming in for surgery and there's like an open defects investigation like child protection investigation or something like that we don't do anything with like the child protection aspect of it other than like kind of be a liaison and so sometimes I'll come in and see that that's occurring and be like okay like now I know I need to call this caseworker I need to like chart review deep 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 to figure out like what all's going on to make sure that the right people are here the right people are getting updates, the kid, like, we know where they're gonna discharge to, just like that kind of thing it can also take priority because it's important. But, like, those types of things I don't know until I get in for the day. Like, I don't know to, like, okay, prepare myself. I'm gonna be doing this today. No, no idea. I just have to get in there and see. I'm gonna make my smoothie. I think I'm gonna make lunch today, too. By that, I mean, I'm literally gonna make, like, a peanut butter sandwich and it's already in my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, what a task. But because the chicken enchiladas were so good last night that we just ate them all and don't have leftovers, usually I would try to take leftovers for lunch, but not not today. putting on my new shoes so I can be ready for work. I feel like I'm gonna be miserable outside in the 28 degrees. Well, I also was planning on finishing my smoothie before I walked so that I wouldn't have to have like a handout to hold it, but having almost two hours to get ready in the morning apparently just is not enough. And no, I have not drank in my smoothie yet. I kind of wonder, I guess we'll see when I put them on. These kind of seem like maybe they run small because I got eights. I actually have been getting eights lately. I fell victim to the whole thinking your foot stopped growing and just kept buying the same size of shoe for like the past four years. And whenever I went to the running store, and they were like, yeah, no, you are an eight. And I was like, what? Four eights, I feel like these are small. I think they will fit me, but I feel like if you are getting on clouds, maybe like half size up, maybe full size up. I'm so nervous for how cold it is. I feel like if I were running in these, I would almost need like an eight and a half. Maybe let me actually like wear them for a day though before I make statements like that. I feel kind of nervous wearing them for the first time for a full day where I'm walking like over four miles. Well, that's not even including like the day's activities. That's just like getting to and from. I'm walking at least four miles because if these are like super uncomfortable, or need to be broken in or something. Good luck, Charlie. For my walk commute entertainment today, since I've been telling you it all week so far, two podcasts have come out that I am wanting to listen to. The first one is Normal Gossip. I don't have my phone with me, so I'll put like the little picture on screen. Normal Gossip has been such a fun podcast. Like I love, love, love it. It scratches the same itch as like a friend who has a really good story, like piping hot tea, except it's like all anonymous. And the stories are good enough that like you get so interested in them, even without like knowing anybody involved. But they came out with a new episode today that I am looking forward to listening to. I think that's what I'm gonna start with. And then also Ellen Hildebrand, the author, who's written all the like Nantucket books, she has a podcast. And I saw that the one get came out today, she interviews Frederick Bachman, the author of like the Beartown trilogy, A Man Called Ove, Britt Marie Was Here, My Grandmother Told Me to Tell You I'm Sorry, all of those books. And I just think that that's gonna be so interesting to listen to too. So those are on the docket for my entertainment. Here are my shoes. I literally am only wearing them inside because they've never been worn before. Zach and I are no shoes in the house people, but these are them. They feel comfortable. They definitely feel like they feel cushy like I can feel myself cushing into the ground <laughs> with each step I did make my peanut butter sandwich for lunch But that is like all that I'm bringing for lunch So I feel like I'm gonna be hungry and I feel like I'm gonna maybe need to go to like the vending machine or something I do plan to go to run club tonight, but it's gonna be cold and dark like I talked about So I'm like already thinking about strategies to make sure that I get myself like up and going But alrighty, okay Today's outfit as you've already seen purple pants on clouds I'm wearing this gray Lulu Swift Blue Tech and then I'm wearing my <laughs> Malaga Swift shirt under it and then my Patagonia which I'm just hoping will make me not be miserable. It's gonna be too much for the walk back home but hopefully it's a good amount for the walk there and my hands are just, my hands are just raw dog in it. Ah! 
Especially because I'm gonna be holding my cold smoothie as I walk. Continuation of consumerism. Got my new scrub pants. I will. I've been talking about these ones too. I like this color. It's the same color as my Patagonia. Because <laughs> I already had kind of mentioned they look. I don't know. I feel like every fig fits different even when they're the same size. I'll definitely try them on tomorrow though. But we already talked about how I'd already I only had the bright purple and the bright pink and the gray was like the only neutral-ish color. So this provides me with another neutral. And so does. So does the black. Oh, and the black has like a gray blue drawstring. So I'll wear one of these tomorrow. I get the high-waisted, what do I get? I get the high-waisted Zamora jogger and I get petite so that they're the shorter legged. But they have this little, I don't know how to show this the best. I guess I can show when it's on me. They have front pockets, back pockets, and the little side pocket in the leg. So I put my own phone in my little side pocket in my leg. This is the one that I don't know what it is. It might be a book. Yep, it's a book. Oh, that's a cool cover. I don't remember what this one's about. I'm excited for those pants. I'm definitely gonna wear them tomorrow. I feel like I'm gonna wear the black ones tomorrow. I'm like wear my black new pants with, oh, I didn't realize the music's been on in the background this whole time. Um, <laughs> can wear my black new pants with my new shoes. Yes, Run Club was great tonight, so I'm very glad that I went. I feel like I always am challenged to run faster whenever I'm running with other people, which is overall probably a good thing. Today at work was honestly pretty slow. It was a lot of just like, I don't know, whenever we track our time, which I don't know if that's something I have to talk about yet, but like we track our productivity of patient-facing activities, which I have mixed feelings on. Like, I don't know if I love it or not, but we track like how long it takes us to do different tasks and only like patient-facing things count into that productivity but one of the like sections whenever we're tracking your productivity is counseling slash support and <laughs> why i'm talking about all this is today was very much a big like counseling slash support day we're also kind of just like wandering around sitting with families chatting you know like unofficial support which is good but definitely felt slow and then we had the staff meeting today which like i said i just i like staff meetings i like everyone being in one room together and i feel like it's fun to get like updates on what's going on like is there anything new rolling out like there's always snacks so i just like staff meetings as you saw, my new pants got here, so I'm very excited to wear those tomorrow. I was making like a big deal about it in my office. <laughs> today. But what's really cute, and I didn't know they were even doing this, but Figs sent like a little envelope that was like gift your friends. And there are vouchers in there for $25 off your first order of Figs. They're like unique. Like unfortunately, it's not like a code that I can give out, but I can bring them into my office tomorrow for like other people who maybe are wanting to buy scrubs. And I feel like that's just such a generous, like that's $75 from Figs, which is awesome. I'm having like dinner part two right now and hot chocolate. It is 8.51. Oh my God. I thought I had a lot more time than that. <laughs> Still eating. It's 8.51. I guess I'll get to bed whenever I get to bed. I realize that like, you may laugh at the fact that 8.51 just shocked me as being so late. But remember, I go to bed at like 9.30. That means I need to be like brushing my teeth, getting my face washed at like nine, but apparently not twin. I am nothing if not a girl pushing her time limit. And I do want to clarify, because I know I say that a lot. Once I got a comment that was like, social workers are always running late. I'm never actually late but I'll be right on time. Like there's never been, sorry, I'm gonna keep talking to you while I'm behind you. There's never been a time where like, I should be at work and I'm not yet because I'm like truly running late. But I'm definitely a gal who loves having like a few extra spare moments, a few extra spare minutes. On time is late, early is on time. So for anyone out there worried about my like work performance, you don't have to be. 
gosh. Create chaos, I do though. When I was yesterday, there was like this little holiday cart that came around giving little gifts. They had like peppermint bark, they had like little turkey sandwiches they gave us at nine, but they also had this Sharpie to put on my badge. So there's not too many times that I need a Sharpie, but for the times that I do now, I have one. Um, I don't know if you noticed, I'm wearing my black pants. They are so super comfortable. And also I'm definitely not kidding when I say that I think that every fig's pant is different, even whenever you buy the same thing, because these are the same ones that my pink and purple and gray ones are, but these are like stretchy and light. And I was even looking back, cause I was like, this fabric is 100% different. Like how, how is this the case? Maybe they just like upgraded, I don't know, but these are tight right now, which is the same thing that happened with my pink and purple ones. Like they were tight when I first got them and then kind of like fit my body. But these ones aren't as comfortable being tight cause it's more like leggings or something because they're stretchy. I do feel fun though. This is my first time wearing black pants to work, <laughs> black scrubs. I love bright colors. I just, I can't do it every single day. It's much more obvious how often I rewear pants whenever they're purple. Okay, I think, I think that I'm ready to go. Today we have our interdisciplinary rounds for the step down unit, which I feel like are always good because I always want that information. And last week we didn't have them because it was Thanksgiving. I also feel like they always kind of make me nervous because I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I have to talk? <laughs> Cause it's like rounds with like all of the doctors and fellows and residents, like everybody. And usually if a question is asked, it's like more of a complex situation. You know, like it's not usually like pretty straightforward. And so if I have to talk, usually it's like, yeah, no, I'm working on that. I'm aware of that, thank you. And they're like, okay, is it done yet? And I'm like, I'm working on it. I feel like that's how usually that goes. But I don't usually have to talk, but I feel like that's why it always makes me nervous. Okay, I am gonna leave. I have my smoothie over there because I didn't have a chance to drink it. I got out of bed at 6.40 this morning. I used to get out of bed at five. 6.40 is when I got out of bed. To be fair, I went to bed late last night because there was like run club, which pushed back my dinner time, pushed back my hot chocolate time, pushed back my getting ready for the day time. Oh, also, this is the last thing I tell you before I go. I was spending so much time yesterday looking at the animal shelter that's in town. Well, one of the animal shelters, there's a lot that are in town. I am in no place to adopt a dog. Like Zach and I just cannot get a dog right now. I wish, that would be fun. I get to see my dogs when I go home in like three weeks. But the shelters have like the dog for the day programs where you can just like have a dog for a day, take him out, you know, take him on a little walk, take him to a park, whatever. And I really want to do that. So I was like looking yesterday, like all the dogs at the shelter. And I was like, I want to take you for a day. I want to take you for a day. But the issue is that this weekend it's supposed to be rainy. So I don't really want to do it this weekend. I just have like a rainy, well, I don't know. But maybe the upcoming weekends, I'm really excited for it. But I, I stayed up late last night looking at dogs that are currently either in foster or in the shelter and figuring out all of the ones I wanted, which was all of them. Um, okay, I need to leave. I'll see you at work. I'll try to calm down and be like less chaos. <laughs> Sometime coming up, I will be less chaos. How about that? <laughs> at work. I would say a busier day today. Part of it was like things that I had forgotten whenever I was updating you this morning. So I had the long rounds like I told you about. Did not have to talk. So that's a win. And then I had my regular rounds that we have every day too. But then after those rounds, we had a little like bagel party because a coworker who works in a different discipline, it was her last day. And so they brought in Einstein Brothers bagels. I had a little bagel, hung out. And then after that, I had my hour of clinical supervision with my supervisor where we sit and talk. And it was my six month review that we discussed, which I think I also mentioned earlier in the week. I'm having like deja vu about that too. <laughs> and then just also discussed like the cases, like the people that I currently have in the hospital and like kind of what's going on, what I'm doing, how I'm intervening, if I have any questions. So that was very helpful. My previous job was supposed to have clinical supervision and like never did in as committed of a way as now my current job does. So this is like a little bit new to me having the time that's truly set aside and like dedicated to me and to like developing me as a social worker. So it is really nice. I have the individual supervision and then I have the perinatal group that I mentioned earlier. And then I also have like a social work peer group that's made up of social workers on various different floors in the hospital. I've only been to two of those so far though, just because they've had to be canceled a couple times. And then also the last one that they did have wasn't the day that I called out sick 
last week so I haven't been to as many of those as the other ones but it is such a good perk having supervision built into a job and like feedback built into a job in a like good and healthy way but so it was probably like noon by the time I even started <laughs> working with patients and I had a couple more instances of just like counseling slash support type things I was consulted about helping a patient be insured they're uninsured and the sad thing is like whenever patients are uninsured lots of times it's like oh consult social work like they can help them get insurance and like I can help them see if they qualify for like public assistance but other than that like there's nothing like sometimes people are just uninsured and that sucks because then like medical debt is high affording medications is hard everything's so, like I can provide information but that is just such an area that there's so much like lack of resources and I mean Medicaid has huge benefits like wonderful benefits to insure children and also people can not qualify for Medicaid like make too much money for Medicaid and not make enough money to be able to still afford health care at that point so I wish that I had my little magic wand you know for anyone having any kind of financial trouble but it stinks when I don't so I just try to do my best of providing information about like what may be helpful applications that maybe a parent can submit how the process goes that kind of thing I also helped with gas assistance for a family today who was unexpectedly going to have to drive like three hours back home which is a long time and a lot of miles <laughs> especially if you save up for gas money so I'm glad to be able to provide that I was covering for one of my co-workers who's off so it was nice to just like meet a new family too since I didn't know them yet I'm sure I did other things today that I just like can't remember now I feel like tonight I want to have a chill night not go anywhere not go and work out I can't remember right now whether or not I worked out Monday but regardless I feel like it's roundabout time for a rest day something that I've been wanting to do more and to like get more into is doing like stretching which you could go back to videos two years ago and I would say the exact same thing because it's always been something and I'm like oh I need to do that more and I don't but like stretching and specifically mobility I feel like are, would be such beneficial things for me to like commit myself to and yet I don't so part of me feels like I need to join like a yoga studio or something and even just go like once a week or even like once every other week because then I can have like a guided time that is actually like meant to help my body stretch out and be mobile and like get better so that's something I'm thinking I feel like there's like several things like that that I want to like research tonight like sit down and research watch go more girls in the background and then I also want to read my book I feel like I don't think I've been in a reading slump necessarily I just think it like ebbs and flows how interested I am or how like dedicated I am to sit down and read and right now I feel like because I'm interested in like other things I just like haven't been sitting down and reading quite as much because remember there was that stretch which to be fair I was also kind of depressed but <laughs> there was that stretch of like September October where I was probably reading for like three hours a day because I would like wake up in the morning read for an hour and a half couldn't be me now as you can see by the mornings what is going on there I don't know I need to go to bed early tonight is what's going on there see see I wake up early in the mornings read and then like read on my lunch break read when I got home and that that is not my current habit right now but I hope you all are doing well hope you're enjoying your days my pants were so good today they are so comfortable and my shoes have been really good too so that's been nice as well but like I said hope you're having a great day not just a good day cue my wonderful relaxing chill night
flour is chocolate cake. Ooh. It's, oh, gluten free. I know. Oh my gosh, I have a little like phone camera setup going right now because I decided that I'm going to do vlogmas on TikTok, I think. And then if I don't do that, then like, sorry. But I'm very excited. I got this package today and it's a puzzle because one of my friends and I are doing a little puzzle swap since with puzzles, it's like you just do it and then you're done, you know? Somewhere I just had scissors and now I don't. got my scissors and I actually need to like kind of preserve this box because I'm not gonna lie Elizabeth I didn't tell you this I was struggling to find a box that I could put my puzzle in so I want to just use this one to send my puzzle back my part of the puzzle swap okay I don't actually know how successful I'm gonna be here at saving the box as I'm like cutting straight through it <laughs> that took me so long but I got it and I think this box maybe survived enough to be sent back. <laughs> this is my new puzzle in our puzzle swap. I have the puzzle going on over there that I have been working on. And then I also have a gift from my mom. Can you tell what my hobby is right now? I also have a gift from my mom that's a puzzle advent calendar. So I'm curious how that's going to go. I think it's like you get a certain amount of pieces each day. But I'll have to open that and start that today because it's December 1st. Somehow. Okay, as a fun like full circle moment, the meeting, the like patient doctor meeting that I talked about in the beginning of this week that I had today went so well. It went so well. I feel like those kinds of things make me nervous, not because I'm worried that something's going to go wrong, but because I really just like want it to be so beneficial, you know, like I really want it to be worth everyone's time. And I think today that it really was. I think it's really good for parents to have moments that are like totally dedicated to them and their questions and like long-term care plans, bigger pictures more so than and like daily rounds that they get that may be like, oh, we're gonna change like these respiratory settings. We're gonna change these feeds. We're gonna do this thing, but can't really like fully dive into why they're doing what they're doing or like how that's gonna affect the plan down the line. And so being able to have a time to like sit down, open up to parent questions, talk about long-term goals is so beneficial for families who have especially extended stays with their children in the hospitals. So I feel so like lucky to get to initiate that and be a part of that. So that was a very rewarding point of today. I had lots of various like little tasks that came up through the day. A couple things that were previous patients of mine who are now outpatient. And so like being able to connect with team members who work in the outpatient world to take care of needs. A couple food needs that came up that I can help provide like vouchers to get meals in the cafeteria or can provide like snack bags that have things for parents. I don't think I met anyone today. I don't think I had any like introductions to do. I have several people that were discharging today and then several people that will discharge over the week weekend so I don't exactly know what it'll look like when I get in back to work on Monday. Right now though and this just like ebbs and flows my caseload usually sits around 15 like that's kind of the average the median number and those are split between kids in the ICU and then kids on the like step down unit the floor. Right now though I only have three in the ICU and then the rest are on the floor whereas like two weeks ago I had like 12 in the ICU and almost none in the step down unit so it's just kind of funny how sometimes that balance tilts and it's so interesting Thing because in my role it's so different when they're in ICU versus when they're on the floor. Whenever patients are in ICU, they're intensive care. Like they're more unstable, they're more delicate, their condition can turn, you know, like on the flip of a dime. And so it's a lot of like counseling, support, coordinating these conferences, making sure like as many logistical things that I can help with are taken care of for parents. Like if they need documentation for work, if they need somewhere to stay, if they need things to eat. Whereas then the floor is a lot of the same things, a little less like counseling and support just because it's kids are in in a better more stable condition whenever they're on the floor but it's a lot more of like discharge needs so if there's any like insurance questions that come up I have limited things that I can do with insurance like I think I've talked about I'm having deja vu again I'm having deja vu of even saying I had deja vu I know I've said that before I don't have too much I can do with insurance but like helping iron out little like wrinkles in the discharge plan or if there's support that parents need while they're like learning how to care for their child with a cardiac condition at home sometimes they can like help with that if someone's uninsured and needs like help getting medications then I can start to help with those things if there's any safety concerns that would affect discharge then like I get involved in those things 
on the floor. So it's just interesting how different the job duties are in it in each one to where I always say like my days can look so different my weeks can look so different and part of that's like if I have 12 patients in the ICU that week is going to look a whole lot different than if I have 12 patients on the floor just some foods for thought just some just some fun things <laughs> I am feeling so proud of myself because that 10K, the run that I did today was the 10K, was six minutes faster than last time when I was training for a half marathon and ran a 10K, like at this point in the training period, which like six minutes isn't that crazy amount of time, except that it averages as one minute faster per mile, which is like very significant. And it definitely felt hard, but it didn't feel, like I can tell that it felt easier and more doable than if I had tried to maintain that pace back for my first half marathon. So I feel like this is a reason that I liked running in the beginning and wanted to get into it back in like April is that there's such like clear numeric you are getting faster or you are running longer like whatever the numeric value you want to track is it becomes so clear of like I have improved which is such a fun feeling honestly this morning though was like not like it wasn't bad we went to the coffee shop but then whenever I got home I just felt so exhausted and tired to the point that I took a nap from like 12 to 12 30 just about and then going on that run I was like I know that this run is going to be bad I'm going to feel awful but like I'm still just going to go and then lo and behold it didn't feel bad and awful and I feel like it turned around my day and turned around my mood which I'm very excited for. I have been absolutely loving our spirit of vlogmas video here like the fact that <laughs> obviously I'm not coming out and posting videos every single day on YouTube. I tried that two years ago it was very difficult the videos weren't that good and also like nobody watched them <laughs> like it would maybe be like 20 views a video like my channel kind of came to a screeching halt trying to do vlogmas so I decided that it's not for me I'm more of a consumer of vlogmas than a producer of vlogmas however I am gonna make an effort throughout the rest of the month and maybe even into the new year like it doesn't have to end in December to vlog every day and make them nice long quality high quality videos because I know that I love to watch those and the fact that this video like could be getting close to reaching an hour that's wild and I'm very excited for it and I'm already excited for like the rest of the weeks to come because there's various things going on throughout each week in December that I'm excited to show in a video so all of that being said I wouldn't be this excited if there weren't people like you like watching them so thank you from the deep down bottom of my heart I always say at the end of videos or maybe I don't always say but I always mean to say <laughs> I always feel at the end of videos that I appreciate you so much and that is so real so true so I hope that you feel it thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video remember to click the link in my description so you can go browse the wonderful pieces that they have on their website and I will see you guys next time.